Yo, what's going on guys? Wanted to show you what phase rush poppy can do. This build is taking over the poppy jungle meta and is becoming very popular and it has a very high win rate. It's win rate it's peaking around 58, 60%. So pretty solid build. And right now poppy is a top five jungler as well for platinum plus. And she even works in lower elo. You just gotta position properly. She is a melee champion on the tankier side. The enemy comp, biggest thing we gotta watch out for is the thresh hooks. Thresh hook and a Thresh Blade. That'll be devastating for us. So yeah, Poppy, awesome jungle champion. She can full clear really effectively. She's constantly full health because of her passive. Really cool champion. If you enjoy melee junglers who are scrappy, tanky, like Warwick or Zinza, I think you'll really like Poppy. Against their team, I'm gonna do well against the Vi on her Qs. I can cancel it with my W. And uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun. We're gonna start Q, immediately Q, auto attack. And we want to pick up our buckler right when it goes to hit us and then we can actually block two autos like we did there so it's basically only hit us twice now with the uh, big monsters their auto attack speeds pretty slow well I'll just cue both of them there pick up the buckler should be able to block both of the gromps attacks i can even stun him out of an auto with my e poppy's normal keystone for jungle is dark harvest though i do think predator could be a little bit better than that now uh, phase rush is starting to pick up steam because i think dark harvest is just a little weak overall it's only a little bit of extra damage poppy isn't stacking that much 80 anyways to where it's not scaling that well so the time for phase rush and predator poppy jungle i think is going to completely take over within the next couple of months to where no one's really taking dark harvest on poppy jungle at all crossing over around 228 it's decent. We, you can use your W on the crossover. I wasn't sure if I was going to be over here, so I wanted to have it. Your W is a very long cooldown. The Q has a huge hitbox. It goes even slightly behind you. Something to keep in mind. Pick up the buckler Q. Top lane semi gankable. I don't like ganking for Nasus early. Looks like Darius is getting chipped away a bit. We have our smite up and we'll push for our golems now. You could even take two points in your Q if you really wanted to, to speed up your clear. I like having the W for the gank option. If you don't take your W, ganks can be kind of rough. Go ahead and eat a potion so we can be full health. Poppy's five camp clear into gank is a lot faster. You can easily pre 315 into gank. A full clear on her, you'll will be finishing around 3:30 instead. It's all right. I wanted to set this up on Darius. I'm gonna bonk him to the wall. Auto attack Q. He's dead. We probably didn't need to ghost. It just felt like the right thing to do. I'm not trying to out last hit him here. I'm trying to help him shove the wave because Darius is respawning from base. I'm gonna go ahead and smite the cannon. And hopefully he can hit that with his Q. Oh, he actually missed it. But yeah, if we didn't help him here, he was out of mana and he's missing some health. Darius would come back and just kind of wreck him. The scuttle's gone. Oh, Nasus, why did he stay? Oh my. This is not good. Yeah, Nasus just needed to back. He was staying for a plate. We didn't quite get into the bush there. <laughs> That's so lame. All right, first back on Poppy, you're normally looking to get your boots. And in this case, I actually want Sheen and then we'll get tier one boots. You can rush tier two boots on Poppy. It will be hurting your clear speed a bit. We're gonna check the CS score and see who our best teammates are to play around. Zaya has the highest CS score, so we probably want to play around our bot lane. It's a really good indicator for knowing which of your teammates are your better teammates. Auto attack EQ, pick up the buckler right when it goes to hit me. That's how Poppy stays so gosh darn healthy. Oh man, this is a bad fight. I can't get there in time even if I did. That fight's already lost. I keep kiting the camp. 
The Q has some decent range to it. Almost like a Thresh auto. Vi hasn't backed yet. We could easily fight her. I hope he I hope she comes for my Raptors. Oh, I think she might have seen me. Nope. Gotcha. And you're dead. Nice. We saved our W to knock her out of her jump. I wish she couldn't do anything. <laughs> she did a random greedy invade since she's ahead. She felt like she could just invade me, but she hasn't actually spent her gold yet. So the odds of her beating me was just super slim. I'll break this and then I'll go for Scuttle Crab. Poppy's a really good niche counter for uh, a lot of mobile champions like Kindred or Graves. Or Vi, you can knock them out of their dashes with your W. That's why she's so hyper meta right now. Graves and Kindred are fairly meta. Well, this is annoying. I'm gonna bonk him away, then we'll turn on this guy. Looks like Annie missed her attack though. You're dead, bonk him into the wall. He's dead too, Tipper's OP. I'm gonna lay my control word right there, Vi's bot side. She might go for my camps. And that should be Scuttle Crab. It'll burn out. Yep, got it. From our jungle item. She might be my jungle. I can't get over there in time. So we're going to push into her jungle instead. TF's ulting back to lane. He's not going to ult for me and miss those minions. He can see me right now because of his R though. So Vi's likely going to be in my jungle. Darius might collapse on me. I got to get out of here. I'm going to leave the wolf so camp doesn't respawn. And now we're gonna phase rush away. Oh my god. Not like this. Come on, boys. Not like this. This would be such a lame way to die. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bunch of rats. That was so scummy. They almost got me with the three man collapse. Thank goodness we have ghost with uh, phase rush. It's hard for them to keep up with that. Very cool. Alrighty. We'll go for my red buff. TF's chilling. He's really far behind in CS now. With his roams and with his death, it's putting him behind. We could back for Divine Sunder. That's what I'm waiting on. We're slowly healing back anyways because of red buff and jungle item while we're fighting these camps. It's really nice to be able to escape with phase rush. I feel like I'm playing a high damage 80 Nunu. The Nunu pretty much always goes phase rush. But no matter what kind of situation I'm in, I can get away or just stay on top of people. You can take blue and gromp at the same time on Poppy. I'm not using my W much to move around the map like I normally would. It's because I don't know where the Vi is. And I don't want to just walk into her and not have my W up. This area might be warded. I'm going to hold on to my W. Their bot lane's missing and my blue buff's gone. So the odds of this being warded are very high. Looks like Thresh just backed. So I take it back. I'm going to reset and get Divine Sunder. This is an outrageous power spike. It's going to turn you into one of the strongest champs in the game. We're going to go Emax second. Grab Divine and push back out onto the map your w per level the cooldown gets slower and and the damage it does if they dash inside of it gets a bit higher it doesn't stop blinks like flashes or ezreal e your q per level gets a damage slow and cooldown decrease and uh your e per level gets all sorts of good stuff that's why you generally max your w last cooldown per level goes down by two seconds but that's not quite enough for it to be worth if it could get down to like four or five seconds it would be it's just not low enough my fat she doesn't have boots yet i'm actually a lot faster than she is yeah i'm a lot faster i'm gonna take her camps if darius doesn't rotate they can't kill me and i have a big item advantage on her right now she's not full item and i am so even if tf rotates there's nothing she can do to me there goes our wolves. I think Darius is coming over here. That's all right. I'll fight him. Oh, I take it back. We're going to Q arm. 
Yeah, this is not going to end well for them. I really want to kill this Darius. He's faster than me. Got you, bye. <laughs> Bopped her into the wall. Pick up my passive. I didn't quite get my phase rush. I'll red smite him for the movement speed bonus. Yeah, TF, you're going to want to run, buddy. This isn't going to end well for you. Auto attack Q, and he's dead. Oh, come on. That's so lame. My E's up, and I have my ghost. I can go for this. Got it. Since my passive killed, I got the shield immediately. Vi's going to be here. This is risky a little bit. But I want it. I want it now. And the bot lane's pretty healthy. I, I don't think Vi's full item yet. I should be able to fight her still. Yeah, I got to get out of here. I think their bot lane's rotating. Yeah, suck it, Thresh. Suck it, buddy. Oh, no, he flashed. Oh, Annie went in. I was not expecting that. We didn't have the damage to or the HP to follow her up there. Looks like Tibber. Why are they still chasing me? Yo, Thresh is out of mana. Why am I getting CC'd by random nonsense? <laughs> Betty. <laughs> they can't get me. We're too quick. They're doing the world's longest chase maneuver. That was so lame. Alright. Against their team, they're super AD heavy. I'm gonna go play to still caps and now we'll go for you know, I'm feeling the thorn mail. We're gonna need thorn mail because of Draven. Otherwise, Dead Man's is a decent choice, even though Dead Man's has been way over nerfed this season. Look at it. 300 health. Oh, a tank item, right? Why does Sterics give more HP? <laughs> That's the state of uh, dead man's and a lot of tank items. Thornmill, 350 HP. Why does Sterics give more HP? Even like Titanic, a bunch of bruiser items just straight up give more health than tank items. It's so silly. They need to reevaluate like what is a tank and what is a bruiser. Because bruiser tanks or bruisers like Poppy are tankier than tanks this season. It's insane. The only exception is Shogath and Scion because they have abilities that give them more. Lock out, hit her with an EQ auto. I could have canceled that. Draven's got shield bow. I don't like this fight now. I don't think that's going to end well for us. Oh, I missed my Q, dang. Yeah, Thresh is such a rat. Got her into the wall, red smile, auto attack, and I'm standing on the lantern too. Oh, she freaking knocked me off of it. Wow, they're all gonna get away. Oh, <laughs> so stupid. Fighting two of them. Thresh is such an annoying support character. If I stack up enough armor, they won't be able to kill me because TF's too far behind. I still have my uh, control ward in her jungle over there. I'm going to hold on to this one. You can Q and walk away if you know it's going to finish it. EQ, we hit everything. Look how big that Q hitbox is. Nutty. Darius is a level down. I hope Nasus wins that. Yeah, all right, yeah, Nasus wins that. Once Nasus is six, he's really hard to fight. His R puts his Q on a 50% reduced cooldown, plus his R does a bunch of AoE burn damage like a Sunfire. And it's a really, really strong Sunfire too. Oh man, Draven. I can't fight one versus two. Or can I? I pick up my buckler. Yeah, I'm just dead. Yep. I could have used my ghost and maybe lived in that situation. Because I'm just surprised how big the thresh slow was. I couldn't move. 
I was indefinitely trapped from the Thresh EQ. I still had 80% of my health, but then walking into his box, I just couldn't move. That sucks. We got Bramble Vest now. We needed to apply our Phase Rush on the Thresh, and then we probably could have lived. That was my mistake. Phase Rush removes slows by 60%, right? 75%. That's a lot. Come on, Andy. You got this. Tibbers. <laughs> Tibbers is going ham. Tibbers is too good. Oh. That was close. See if we can get this Herald. We can definitely get it. I want to go kill Darius, though. Ooh, hey, Vi. Wow. I like how Harold's walking away from me, so it's gonna reset. There we go, we got it. Nice. And Vi, Vi died? That's huge for us. They don't need me for this, do they? Yeah, they don't need me for this. While Vi is dead, we'll try to get some of her camps. We have a lot more CS than her right now. Biggest issue is the Draven Thresh. Thresh has zero deads and he's peeling like a annoying support main. Alright. Draven just got wrecked. Thresh is going to be their strongest contender this game. Thresh players normally are Thresh one tricks. That's why they always have good flays, good lanterns. Got it. I'm getting CC'd like crazy. I'm gonna walk out. Nice job from Zaya. This grot belongs to me though. God, Thresh is so annoying. It wouldn't matter if he didn't do so much freaking damage, but he does. God, I wish Annie would have turned on Thresh. That would have been free. Thresh is still here. He's hovering while Nasus takes base. Sheesh. <laughs> God, I hate that champion, man. He counters my phase rush so hard too, cause he does. He's no, he's got two hard CCs. It's not just his box that my phase rush can work against. That's the only thing I, I should say that it works against. All right, we're out of there. Nasus is in the middle of nowhere. We gotta let him die. After we have Thornmel and uh, Deadmans, we should be able to navigate these fights fairly well. There's a dragon fight going on. I think we can contest, actually. Zaya's running the new OP Zaya build I made a video on, and uh, Annie's pretty fed. She's got eight kills, so. We're gonna Q RM. They're both inside my Q. You're gonna die here, Thresh. I'm standing on the lantern. Feels bad for Vi. Knock him into the wall. He's stunned. Nice. Wait, how did Thresh not die there? I was focusing him. I don't know how Thresh lived. Somehow he made it out of there. Your Q, since it has its initial part and the blow up, a lot of the times you're going to Q then R them at point blank range and it'll knock them up to where the second part of your Q will land for free. Mm, Thresh lived. What a scam. These belong to me. There's too many of them underneath that turret. We're not going to be able to kill them. We'll lose our sh shutdowns. I guess Zaya is the only one with shutdown right now. We'd still be getting a lot of gold. 
I'm gonna go get my blue buff and wolves. Sai can take red buff if she wants. I don't really need it. I just got a red buff. Push. She's kind of fed. She got four kills. More fed than a couple people in this game. I don't like this fight. I want to play around objectives. I don't want to just fight them underneath turrets. They have enough wave clear too with the TF Draven. Alright, we got to go to this. I have R. There goes Vi. <laughs> we killed her with our passive because of Divine Sunder. Still have my R. QR. I'm going to get you Thresh. Got Draven with Q Tipper. He's in the wall. That's a Quadra, baby. That's the power of Poppy. Finally gave Thresh a death and ruined his score. <laughs> it only took 21 minutes. They're all spawning in. There's two of them up. Vi and TF. We're gonna have to leave. I should have smashed her into the turret. I was a little slow on that. I can't move. Go, Nasus, go. Golly. <laughs> Jeez, you got kited out. He didn't go Merc Treads. Hopefully he took Tenacity in his runes. I don't have any Tenacity. That's why these stuns are lasting so long. Huge Annie combo. I'll go in on this. Oh, this is such a weird fight. Got him into the wall. Auto attack R. R has more range than your auto attacks do. How fast is he moving? 385? I'm moving faster. I was trying to hit him with my passive there. Not the minions. You're dead, bud. Yes, sir. It's just TF and Vi. Oh no, I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to knock her into the wall, into the inhib there. Zaya might die if she's not careful. I need to get some help back. TFRs me. Heal off of these a little bit. And I'll take this. Come on, just die. Give it to me. We need to back and spend our gold. We have a ridiculous amount, nearly 6k, holy smokes. Imagine if we had actually spent our items and we had them for that fight. Now that we have Thornmel, we could go for Dead Man's. It's the prudent choice. I really enjoy Titanic on Poppy though. Since I'm fed, I'm gonna go Titanic. If you're not fed, just get the Dead Man's. Dead Man's is super safe. Titanic gives you more health, obviously a lot of damage, and it works off your passive. So whenever you throw your buckler, you use your W and your ability, your buckler will be empowered by your divine sunderer and your your uh, passive buckler toss, that. It also works with Titanic. So you can snipe people with it like I did on Draven last time. Where he was like almost dead or whoever I threw it on, I don't even remember. Well, this is awkward. Draven, I mean, uh, Darius dodged my E there. Come on, baby. QR. He's dead, and they just quit. They can't handle the power of uh, Phase Rush Poppy. If you guys enjoyed this Phase Rush Poppy commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.